What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of VB Street Hub. Today we are going to be looking at using the Fujifilm film simulations on the Fujifilm X-T1. Uh, this simulation actually comes from Fuji X Weekly and it is the Kodachrome 2 film preset that I've dialed in the settings for. And this is going to be a quick video. We're going to run around and snap a few pictures and then they're going to pop up on the screen. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It would be much appreciated. I think I'm at nine subscribers right now, looking to hopefully hit 100 by January, something along those lines, if that would be, if that's even possible. But yeah, we're going to get this started. I'm going to turn this around and we're going to get going. So I think I've solved my issue with gear acquisition syndrome. I've diverted it a little bit to something else which I guess isn't really solving it, but it's helping. Instead of buying photography gear, I am going to be purchasing Instead of buying photography gear, I'll be purchasing photography books. So how's everybody's day been treating them? You can go ahead and drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. So the only adjustments I may be making to these images today are adding a little bit of vignette around the outside edges. Otherwise, all the other colors are gonna be straight from the camera. Just to see what this, just to see what this film simulation does to the, uh, the photos. And I normally shoot um, full manual, but today I'm going to be trying out aperture priority mode, meaning the top two dials are set to auto and then my lens is set to the aperture I want it to be. Half moon is always super colorful. I don't think I can get any type of macro shot with this lens. One more. Play my shadow. See if we can get this. I hear you, man. Dog life! <laughs> hey, I'm a street photographer. You mind if I get a picture of you working? Yeah, 
My name is Nick too, man. Nice to meet you, man. I'm Rob. Let me let me get a knife. Yes, sir. Why you take my picture? Got it, man. I appreciate about. you, brother. Hey, happy holidays. <laughs> you too. Yeah. Gotta love what you do. You mind if I take your picture as you ride by? I kinda do. All right, no worries. Thank you you have a great night. So that is the dilemma. Now I've watched tons and tons of street photography videos in the past and I still do because obviously you gain inspiration from other people as you work but there's always that do you take it and do it anyways or do you ask I mean is it a question of why, what type of photographer are you or is it a matter of well you're in the public you can do it anyways um, I'm always on the fence because I never know. What do you think? Leave a comment down below on how you handle situations of do you ask before you take the photo or do you take the photo and then ask later? It's a question I've been pondering the past few weeks while I've been doing this. Alright guys, well that is going to be a wrap on today's episode. Hopefully you like the Kodachrome 2 film simulation look on the Fujifilm X-T1. And of course, like I said, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below if on how you handle your street photography. Do you ask first and then take the photo? Or do you just take the photo and go with it? Like that is the big question on my mind right now. So if you don't mind giving me a hand and let me know what you think, it would be much appreciated. Again, this is Rob with VB Street Hub and the Imagination Station, signing off, peace.